Well, I guess we won't be using that introduction anymore. That's what I get for using nitrate impregnated digital video. Hello, people. Today we're going to talk about the Zomex McDonnell Douglas DC-10. Let's check these little planes out. This is a really cool early casting. Very accurate in, in its detail. And we know it's an early casting, not only because of the machined metal wheels and the Preston landing gear, but we see the Zalmex name and logo, which you typically only see on the earliest castings. Mold marking A115. It's a DC-10 and made in Hong Kong. But notice the lines on the engine and the rear engine and the ailerons. Very detailed. Very, very cool little airplanes. I'm really disappointed these aren't available anymore like they used to be because you don't, don't see them anymore in stores or, or anything now one thing i just thought was horrifying about these are the stickers zymex did a lot of these long skinny stickers for these commercial aircraft and they just look horrible i mean even right out of the package they just didn't stick well um, this one probably looks better than most, but I don't know. I just just think it just it just looks bad. It just looks horrible. But the casting looks beautiful. All right, let's look at this other airplane. Now this one is a completely different casting. It's still a DC-10 by Zomex, but it's got radically different lines. Notice the lines on the engine. And the method of installing the landing gear. Now, I've never seen a landing gear with a pit like that. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that is. Is that damage to the wheel or is that a pit? That looks like a pit that was machined. They machined into a pit in the metal. That's weird. I've just never seen that before. Huh. These tires look normal. Wheels look normal. But notice how the paint job, now it looks like they kind of screwed up a little bit on this paint, on this, the paint got thin right there on the blue part, I don't know, but regardless, the, the way that the paint applies, if it's applied properly, looks really good. And over the long haul of playing with it, it, it the, the appearance is so much more appealing looking. I really like that. That just looks really good. Steel the same mold marking, A115, DC-10. Now the Zomex name and logo, it, it, is that an EX right there? What is that? That looks like an EX. Now, I can't tell if the, the Zymex name is under the paint, or they, they glob the paint on too heavy there, or if they tried to remove it from the mold and neglected to remove the 
X, which is really interesting. I don't know. I'm betting there's another variation of this particular casting with the Zymex name right there. I'll have to look for that. And there's the Made in Hong Kong logo. Very cool little casting. And the way that they did the, the deco on this later version is much more attractive. Now, when we look back on these old Intex catalogs, we see in the 1978 catalog the American Airlines deco with the uh, first variation of the casting. Notice the lines on the on the engines. And here we see it in the gift set from the same year. Now the 1978 is my earliest catalog, but I'm sure the DC-10 was available before this. But by 1984 uh, we start seeing the American Express deco uh, show up in a gift set and uh, individual items as well. But that same year, we see the transition period between the two casting. Notice, the, the, again, the lines on the motors and the, the landing gear. You can see on the Northwest Orient, it has the, the new style landing gear and the, and the new style engine. And then here's the third variation from that year, which is the Federal, Federal Express airplane in the second style casting. And then by 88, uh, we see another variation of the Federal Express carded gift set with different artwork. And by 89, uh, that's all we see. They're, all the airliners are gone, and all we see is a Federal Express uh, delivery air, airliner. <laughs> and then by 1989, we see another carded version uh, with different artwork, but always the same semi and DC-10. But then by 1991, uh, airliners disappeared altogether, including the, the DC-10, which was a horrible shame. And then two years later, 1993, all kinds of airliners showed back up, including one variation on the DC-10, which looks like another Northwest Deco. And here's an old foreign leaflet I've shown before that has another variation that's been available overseas predominantly. Thanks for watching people. Make it a great day. Should have just bought her the box. Imagination. What we deliver by delivering.